weekend marks the 10th annual Fun, Fun, Fun Fest Music Festival at Auditorium Shores. But with more storms and flooding expected this week, some are wondering should this event still go on? KXAN's Amanda Dugan has more. You can see crews working behind me putting the final touches on the setup for Fun, Fun, Fun Fest. Organizers for the event tell me they have a full weather plan in place in case severe weather does roll through this weekend. Last Friday's floods damaged the Ann and Roy Butler hike and bike trail, but Vic Mathai Shores, formerly Auditorium Shores, came through mostly unscathed. That could change, however, with thousands of music lovers standing and walking on potentially very soggy ground this weekend. Contractually, the city of Austin can cancel an event if the weather puts attendees at risk. Just last year, the city and C3 made a mutual decision to pull the pug on the last day of ACL during weekend two due to rain. The city of Austin and Transmission Events, the company that puts on Fun 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 Fest, have measures in place to help minimize the impact. The organizers are using grounds protection measures such as paneling and weather and ground sensitive decking that is preferred by the park system to help protect the grounds. Festival organizers also tell me that they will update fans with any weather related information through social media or over the loudspeakers at the event. In South Austin, Amanda Dugan, KXAN News. This festival comes just over a month after workers completed major renovations to Vic Mathias Shores. The changes include new grass on the lawn and improvements to the sprinkler system there. One big change, a new off-leash area for dogs. But the plan made the event lawn off-limits to off-leash dogs. Money for the improvements came from the event promoter C3 Presents. That company gave the city of Austin $3.5 million for the project. The improvements brought another major change for the Shores, a new name, as we just heard. It's now called Vic Mathias Shores, honoring a man who led Austin's Chamber of Commerce for more than a quarter century.